Hello there, uh, fellow Minecrafters. This is Minecraft Super Admin, back with another awesome script video. Um, this is a reply to one of the um, uh, guys that um, commented on my other FTB Monster MCPC video, uh, seeing if I could make a script to do um, uh, Forge 1.7.2 with MCPC. Plus, that would automatically do everything. Okay, so if you guys uh, really enjoy my videos, please donate here. Um, uh, you don't have to, but I would highly appreciate it because this is a lot of hard work. Um, anyways, uh, but I do enjoy doing it, so not a problem there. Uh, let's see, so let's get to the capabilities. Um, the script is capable of doing auto reboot within game so all you have to do is type in forward slash stop as an op and it will reboot the server within 20 seconds okay and come right back up really cool okay next section is it will notify your players um, from the console that the server is about to reboot because of backups okay that's what that means scheduled notification of backups to players next thing is it will automatically back up it will automatically stop your server um, and back up your whole server directory to somewhere else. I recommend backing it up to Dropbox folder or something. So if nuclear disaster happens, you can always recover, or your friends can, and the server just keeps going and kicking along. Okay. Um, also, in in that auto backup, it will create a new folder for each day. Okay, so you can easily restore. And then another portion is it cleans up after itself. It's set to seven days of backups. Anything after seven days, it will delete any of those folders that are seven days or older. Okay, that's what the script does. Next thing is the script uh, will update your MCPC Plus to the most current version every single day. Okay, currently it is 1.72. Okay, if this doesn't work in the future, I will make another video. Okay. Uh, not like some folks, they just <laughs> reuse their old video and put 1.72 even though it doesn't work. Okay, you're confusing people. Stop. Just make another video. Don't be lazy. Anyways, that's my rant. <clears throat> uh, another cool feature is there is no lag code. There, uh, what this is is a bunch of Java switches that I will show you inside the script that will make your uh, server run really smooth and lag free. Okay, even with just 4 gigs of RAM, which is more than enough. Uh, in most cases. <clears throat> okay, next. Uh, let's go straight to the setup. I'm not even going to beat around the bush on that one. So, uh, first things first is you need to go to my Dropbox link right here. Okay, copy. I might have it already open. Yeah, I do. Okay. So, just to see so that it works, paste and go. <clears throat> see, here's all my different scripts I'm working at. So, the one we're working on today is this one Forge MCPC. Plus. Um, you go in here, download all of this. Okay. Since I'm the owner of the Dropbox, I'm already there. So uh, that's the folder. You see, it's Dropbox. Just copy it. Okay. Create a folder wherever you want for your server. I like to put it in, on the desktop, Minecraft. Paste those files in there. Yeah. Okay. That portion's done. Okay. So let's minimize that. Okay. Next thing configure uh, Windows Firewall. Okay. So just follow along on this one control panel okay uh, it usually looks like that for most people so all you got to do is click category click large sizes and then look there's Windows firewall click it uh, click advanced settings on the left okay uh, click inbound rules because people are coming in to connect to your server okay so it's inbound it's come uh, their connections are coming in. anyways uh, Minecraft I'm gonna delete this because this is, um, it's already there but I got to show you how to do it so you click new rule, port, next. Uh, the default port is 25565, that's what we're going to use. Okay, so that works very well. Um, allow everything, blah, blah, blah. Name it Minecraft or whatever you want. Okay, done. Okay. You had to create an exemption through your firewall, so you don't have to destroy your firewall or disable it. <coughs> Next things first. It, uh, next thing is let's uh, do port forwarding. Let's see if my 
router still up. Oh no. Okay. Welcome to my router. Okay. So the first thing you're looking for is something that says WAN, uh, Wide Area Network. Click on something uh, that says Virtual Server or Port Forwarding because that's what you're going to be working with. Once you're in here, what you want to do <coughs> is you want to find out what your IP address. So this is what you do. You do CMD, press Enter. Do IP config. Scroll up. It looks like this. Okay, you go in top. So this IP right here, um, it'll have to go right here. Okay, like that. Oh, can't paste it. Anyways, um, that it's dot ninety four. Okay, so you put it in here. You put the port. Here's an example of it. Okay, Minecraft. You see that default port. I have a range of ports uh, because I run more, more than one server, and this is the internal ID. Okay, so this is where you have that dot ninety four at the end right here. Uh, you add it all in here, then you just click add. Okay, your router is probably totally different, but you can get an idea. The biggest thing is you want to have <coughs> want to find virtual server port forwarding, and it's probably under WAN. Okay, first things first. Uh, edit the first script. Uh, mine's probably not configured. I still didn't fix this. Okay. So the only things you have to change are these four items in this whole script. Okay, source folder, dir uh, drive, destination folder and drive. So to evaluate this problem, we can do this. What that stands for is current directory. So just <laughs> wherever the script's located, which is here in the Minecraft folder where you put it, and you want to copy everything in here, right? So, uh, yeah. So it does it for you. It puts the current directory it wants to copy. Uh, we are on the C drive. Yes. Okay. So let's put that here. C. Uh, backups are going to be in my Dropbox right here. So I'm just going to copy that. Let's uh, put it right here. And it's not Z, it's D, and you're done. Okay, but I'm going to show you something here. So you see this negative seven right here? You can change it to negative 14 if you want 14 days of backups, or however many. You put 365, 500, 10 million backups. Okay, if you want. <laughs> so what this says is anything seven days, uh, anything older than seven days, uh, will be removed uh, of backups. And the backups look like this. This is how it creates it. It actually makes a folder with current date, and after seven days, it deletes the oldest one. Okay, that's how that works. Pretty sweet, huh? Okay, so we're done here. Close, save. <coughs> uh, next one. This one you don't have to do anything. Uh, just showing you what it is. It, this one just launches that. Okay, you need it, otherwise it will not work. There's some Microsoft trick I had to bypass for it to work. Um, so here in the backup VBS, this is the one that actually types out the letter saying, hey, you got five minutes left uh, until the server reboots because of backup, seconds, blah, 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 blah. You know, it does the whole stop. Uh, it actually types stop in, control C, presses yes to kill the script, and then it runs, you know, starts the server back up here. Pretty sweet. So the biggest thing here is you got to make sure this, okay, Minecraft server watch that. Ah, you can just copy it. Okay. <clears throat> so you want to make sure that is the same as in this script, the server startup. <clears throat> Scroll down. You should, should see title, right? So it says Minecraft server watchdog, which is the same, but just to make sure, you paste it and it's there. Okay. Close, save. Uh, get open. Yeah, just close it. <clears throat> Okay, so now you have everything configured. That was the only thing you had to configure. Um, and you're done with that portion. So just follow me, okay? Uh, all programs, accessories, system tools, task scheduler, uh, task scheduler library. I already have one made. Oh, actually, two of them. Okay, so what you do is you click Create Task. Okay, it'll look like this, and then uh, you put <coughs> Minecraft Start like that right there, 
or whatever you want it to call it. And uh, all I'm going to do is just edit it so you could see um, what it looks like. Okay, Minecraft start. So then you make sure you have run only when users logged on, run the highest privilege, make sure you select Windows 7 or whatever your OS is. Trigger, uh, you click new, okay, and you will click log on, specific user, and click OK. I'm not going to do that because mine's already created right there, but that's what you have to do to get there. Next thing is actions, uh, click new, uh, browse, you want to go to the server startup script right and then copy this portion right before the server startup. copy and then paste it in the start in optional what that means is it will start this script inside that folder instead of some weird folder depending with what privileges you run just click OK I'm going I'm not going to do it because it's already created for me it's there okay um, next things this stuff's all default so you don't worry about it okay just click OK you're done. Okay, next portion. Uh, well, that what that script is for is when you turn on your computer, it automatically launches your server. Okay, so next one we're going to make is for backups. So do create task. Okay, name it Minecraft Backups or whatever you want to name it. Um, and once you name that, make sure you click Run Only When User Is Logged On. Run with highest privilege, Windows 7 or whatever your OS is. Trigger. I'm going to create a new one here. It's going to be daily. And you want it to be, you know, when you're sleeping or something, like 1 11 in the morning. Um, and that's it. It will do it daily every day. I do the backup. Okay, so you're done. Click cancel. Or, I mean, click OK, but I'm going to click cancel because it's already created for me. I don't have to worry about that. Next thing is um, you want to create an action. Click new start a program you want to start the backup script so it's this one backup.bat that's what you point at right. okay okay again you got to copy the the path here uh, before the script and paste it in here to make sure it's good to go okay click OK and you're done you don't have to because it's already there and everything else is default you don't have to worry about that just click OK that's it it's done Okay, so uh, that portion's uh, fixed. So now we're gonna play with the server. I'm gonna close this because I'm not gonna need it. Um, okay, I'm gonna leave that so I can show you how that works. And the first things first, we're gonna do. We're gonna run it manually first, not through here, uh, just so it downloads all the files and you see what it looks like. Okay. Uh, actually, I can do that here. No big deal. Uh, run. We we're simulating it like we just turned on the computer. Notice it is downloading the newest version of MC PC Plus. Um, let's see, so you can see what's going on here. Uh, so it downloaded it right there. It also downloaded the, I mean it's running the installer here, the Forge installer. And it's uh, generating all these libraries that you need to run. Uh, do not delete this file here. Okay, this one's going to get renamed to crap bucket, uh, dot jar, but you need this for um, for the server to actually run. So don't mess with that, please, or else your server will crash and won't work. Okay, it's just a requirement in 1.72 and 1.64. You don't need to do that. Okay, you can look at my 1.64 scripts later on. So um, let me pause. Oh, don't need to. Okay, you see it just renamed it to crap bucket. It's starting the server up. And you'll notice everything's going to start populating here. And here's my anti lag code, it's doing, which I haven't showed you yet. <laughs> I need to do that. Okay. So once it starts up, I'll show you. Uh, so the server's starting up. Actually, I'm going to do it right now while it's booting up. You can see it's generating mods, folder. It's going to show you the, um, the plugins are going to pop up and stuff. So here, I'm going to scroll down here while it's doing that. Here's the anti lag code. It's just a bunch of JavaScript switches and it just launches crap bucket jar. You can see the memory, it allocates the different portions of, uh, of the game, which is really cool. This was a pain in the butt to figure out. Okay, so enjoy. Like free servers. Nobody's going to show you that. Most uh, big servers are not going to tell you that that's what they do. Okay, 
that's how they keep themselves lag free all the time. So just use that. Um, pretty cool, right? So here you go. Server's done. Oh, look at that. It's generating uh, spawn point in the world. Uh, so once it's done doing that, the next portion will be to show you the backups. And the server's up. Well, actually, I'm sorry. I want to show you uh, that it does work. So let's go to the mods folder here. I don't have any mods. So in my downloads, I downloaded uh, this thing right here. What is it called? Archimedes Ships mod, which is awesome. I love this mod. Okay. So I down I've downloaded the 1.72 already. It's in my downloads here. Right click, copy. Okay, minimize all this stuff, and I'm gonna paste it in here. Okay. And I'm just going to reboot the server, and all I have to do is type in stop. Watch this. It stops the server. It pings itself for 20 seconds. And then it will start itself right back up. So let's see what happens. A couple more seconds. Do, 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 do. There it goes. Uh, it's starting the server right back up. And you can tell because the config folder was created. And uh, once the actual server boots up fully, you will see the Archimedes ship mod config files generate here, which is almost done. And I'm going to show you that awesome backup functionality. There it is, Archimedes. OK, so that's done. Uh, so once it loads, let's go back to the main folder. Okay, and I'm going to throw the backup folder up too, right here so you can see what it's doing. Okay, so notice today's the 26th, so it should create a folder there. Okay, server's up, everything's good, so now we're going to run the backups. Okay, all you have, um, okay, this is what it's going to do. Uh, we're going to simulate it, so I'm going to run. Bam, look at through the window in the front, right there, and it tells you that it's going to take five minutes. Um, the server's going to reboot in about five minutes for backups. Okay, I'm going to pause, wait five minutes, and hunt. Okay, so I'm back here. It's been four minutes, and you see it says, hey, you got one minute. Um, it actually sent the commands to the console saying, um, you know, to the users, the server's going to reboot in one minute because of backups. Okay, so it will do this for the 30 seconds, um, and then it will also do it um, starting from 10 seconds down. So there it is for the 30 seconds, uh, showing that message, uh, and then you're going to see right now at 10 seconds it's going to start counting down. It will stop the server, do the backups, do the cleanup, and start it right back up. Okay, so that's what uh, the script, awesome script is doing. So there it is. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Okay, maybe it's a little bit more than a second each. Um, but it's okay. It, you get the point. It works. It's pretty sweet. Okay, so two, one, and it will come down now. Back up. It'll shut down now. Bah. See, it types in stop. Presses enter. There's a little ping. It will interrupt the ping. Uh, this is a timer. That's what I use the ping for. It'll do Control C and press Y to uh, say, "Yeah, kill this uh, um, window." Yep. And then, boom! It backs up the file. It already did it right there, and now it's cleaning up all this. So look, see that? 2014-26. So that's the newest one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, look, exact copy of everything <laughs> we just made. It's awesome, right here. Okay, so that does every day, and it names it uh, the current date um, for each folder. So it's really easy to restore. You know, hey, what day was this again? Oh, I want to go a few days back when we had 
this project or you can use world edit and go back to the other pl uh, times that something got destroyed and just create a schematic copy it paste it in the new server and load it right back up isn't that awesome beautiful okay so now you see it restarted it started to download everything again uh, doing the installer thing updating the libraries um, and here it starts the server right back up that's it <laughs> it's done uh, and that's the end uh, so hopefully uh, you all enjoyed my um, awesome video here and look your nuclear react uh, nuclear disaster you can always recover your friends if you share the, your fold you know your backup folder with your friends they can always uh, restore your server at any time just gonna do some DNS trickery but I'll leave that to someone else. but anyways thank you for watching uh, this was awesome um, and if you really like my stuff Again, please like my video, comment, subscribe. I'll make more stuff uh, in the future. Uh, comment if you want me to make a you know, specific script for your server needs, Minecraft server needs, and I will be more than happy to do this. I love doing this stuff. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. And uh, oh, also, if you guys ever want to um, go on my server, this is my bucket server. Okay. This is where you connect to, my public server. And you can have some fun and I have some really cool plugins. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Uh